wabarakatuh. Today's topic is about Bernoulli's principal guidelines. So these guidelines is basically for for you uh, to know how to apply the Bernoulli's principle. We know that in the Bernoulli's equation we have three types of energy. Okay, first is pressure energy, second is kinematic energy. And then the last one is potential energy. So in this video, I will explain to you some of the question uh, you may omit or neglect the value of maybe pressure energy, kinetic energy, or potential energy. Okay, you may assume some of the values equal to zero. Okay. So let's take a look at uh, one by one energy term in Bernoulli's equation as to make you know how to apply and then how to make it zero at some point of uh, energy, okay, energy point. Maybe the pressure energy zero, kinetic energy or maybe zero and then potential energy that is equal to zero. So we know that previously in the video of Bernoulli's uh, principle, we know that the Bernoulli's equation is P1 over rho G okay, plus U1 square over 2G plus Z1 equal to P2 over rho G okay, plus U2 square over to G plus Z2. So when you are applying uh, two points of uh, uh, in your streams, so let's say you have your streams and then this is the first point and this is the second point of your stream. And then you want to see the change of energy between point 1 to point 2, then you will apply the Bernoulli's principle. So from the Bernoulli's principle, you may find the value for the pressure uh, 1 or pressure 2 or maybe you want to calculate what is the velocity at point 1 and, or what is the velocity at point 2 and Z1 and Z2. So sometimes Bernoulli's equation is not comes alone. Okay, Sometimes we may uh, have a lot of unknown. So maybe we have three unknown three unknowns while we are doing a Bernoulli's equation a question we want to solve some of the uh, problems that requires Bernoulli's equation and after we do some calculation and then we do some derivation we have three unknowns in the Bernoulli's equation so how can we solve and at this point we sometimes uh, use continuity equation continuity equation in order to reduce these unknowns maybe from three unknowns you will only have or you will only left all these unknowns with only one unknown okay by using the continuity equation continuity Continuity equation will help Bernoulli's equation in order to reduce the number of unknowns from three to one unknowns. Okay. It depends on what uh, equation, what uh, is your uh, uh, objective for solving that equation. <clears throat> so as we can look, as we can see here. In this Bernoulli's equation, we have three different energy uh, terms. So the first one is pressure energy. Okay, pressure energy. And then the second term here is kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. And then the last term, Z. So I wrote it here. Z is for potential energy. So we have these three different 
types of energy in <clears throat> in Bernoulli's equation. Okay, let's take a look at one by one. Okay, I will go into pressure energy first. So let's say this is pressure energy. So I will focus more on I will focus more on pressure energy first. Okay, the first term in Bernoulli's equation, this one, P1 over rho G. So we will we will focus on pressure energy. So for the first uh, example, let's say we have one uh, tank and we want to transfer the water from tank A to tank B. Okay, we have two tank. So this tank A and tank B. And water from tank A will be uh, flows in the pipe and then goes to tank B from A to B. So both of these tank is open to atmosphere. So take a look at this open to atmosphere. So now we want to find what is the change of energy from point A to point B. So what we are going to do is we will select the point 1 will be at the surface of water in tank A. And then point number 2 will be at point 2. Uh, point where surface of water in tank B. So that is our point 1 and point 2. These two points, we will calculate the change of energy. That's why we are applying Bernoulli's equation. From the, the Bernoulli's equation, we will actually find uh, whatever uh, values that we are really uh, required to find. What is our objective for the question? Okay. Now we take a look at the Bernoulli's equation. So P1 over rho G plus U1 square over 2G plus Z1 equal to P2 over rho G plus U2 square over 2G plus Z2. Now we are only focused on pressure energy. So I will not uh, explain about the kinetic and potential energy. So we know that in this figure, we do have kinetic energy and potential energy. But because I want to focus one by one, therefore I will uh, talk more on P1 and P2. Okay. Now we take a look at P1. P1 is pressure at 1. So this is open to atmosphere. When it open to atmosphere, therefore the pressure at 1, pressure at 1 is equivalent to P atmospheric. Okay, open to atmosphere, then the, the pressure that press or act on this surface area, on this surface 1, will be pressure ATM. So it will be, uh, it, it is same uh, with pressure at point 2 where we have open to atmosphere therefore P2 is P ATM okay so P1 and P2 is P ATM therefore in the Bernoulli's equation we are only deals with what gauge pressure gauge value therefore we will exclude atmospheric pressure in our calculation. Therefore, P1 and P2 will be zero in our equation. So, your equation left with U1 square plus Z1 equal to U2 square over 2G plus Z2. So, from here, you will calculate whatever objective of your questions. Okay? So that is number one, case number one, for example. 
or the example number one or maybe you will uh, the situation number one so we have another situation for the pressure energy where we have one tank open tank so we have open tank and then we want to transfer to the second tank where our second tank is a closed tank okay so this is point number one this point number two so this is tank a and this is tank b so our point here always point one and point two it depends on you if you want to find what is the velocity at point two uh, the fluid before enters to the tank B, therefore your point 2 will be uh, the point where uh, point uh, the point of the pipes where uh, before the uh, waters flow into the second tank. Okay, now we want to explain about what will happen to the pressure at point 1 and point 2. Okay, so now we have one open open tank and then another one is closed tank so what will happen to the pressure energy so here we have a little bit different it is different as a previous example where previous example focus more on both of these tank is open to atmosphere but for the second case for the second situation we have one tank open to atmosphere and another one is close to the atmosphere so what will happen here the pressure at this point is the same as p atmospheric p atm but here you cannot assume that p2 is equal to p atm it is totally wrong okay you cannot assume like this since we have closed tank so when this tank is closed therefore the pressure inside of this tank is not the same as pressure outside of the tank so maybe the pressure outside of the tank is p atm therefore you cannot conclude or you cannot make assumption that the pressure inside this tank is equal to p atm no if it is an open tank then you can assume that p pressure one is equal to pressure two uh, pressure 1 is equal to P at M. But now, here we have a different situation where we have a closed tank. Then the pressure inside of this tank is not the same as P at M. Therefore, P2 is not the same as P at M. So, it will remain as P2. Okay? Depends on your question. Sometimes your question gives the value of P2. So from the Bernoulli's equation, we have P1 over rho g plus u1 square over 2g plus u, uh, sorry, z1 equal to P2 over rho g plus u2 square over 2g plus z2. So now I only focus on the pressure energy. Now we have P1 is P at the end, therefore we can zeroing this value this term and then p2 still has the value therefore your equation is u1 square over 2g plus z1 equal to p2 over rho g plus u2 square over 2g plus z2 this is your equation okay after you zeroing the value of p1 okay p2 still have a value because p2 is not the same as p atm now that is the second example second condition where we can zeroing the pressure value okay now we move to the third example where we have still under the pressure energy where we have a tank with orifice here this is orifice so we have orifice here so
we have orifice there so in this uh, tank we have water this is an open tank so we want to calculate what is the velocity at point 2 normally we want to find what is the velocity so this is the point 2 velocity at the orifice so in this in the question uh, will ask you find the velocity or find the discharge rate at the orifice or find the velocity of water at orifice therefore your point number two will be at orifice your point number one will be at the surface of this or at the surface of water in the tank okay so you apply the Bernoulli's equation from point one to point two so now point one is p atmospheric p atm so open to atmosphere therefore we will uh, put the value of p1 as p at the end what about p2 p2 this water which flows out to the atmosphere therefore the pressure at point 2 also p atm okay remember if you have a close maybe this value uh, this uh, flows to the second tank where the second tank is closed tank Therefore, P2 cannot be PATM because it is closed tank. So now, the pressure of what uh, the water will flows out to the atmosphere. Therefore, P2 is a PATM. Now, from the Bernoulli's equation, okay, P1 over rho g plus u1 square over 2g plus z1 equal to P2 over rho g plus u2 square over 2g plus z2 so we have this equation then we know that p1 and p2 is p at the end therefore we can remove p1 and p2 so your equation Bernoulli's equation will become z1 equal to u2 square over 2g plus z2 okay so what happened when the tank is a closed tank so you have a closed tank okay then orifice here water inside this tank and then what will happen to your point one point one will be p1 so you cannot say that p1 is a p atmospheric since it is closed tank what about point two? Yes, point two is P at the end. Still flows out to the atmosphere. Okay, therefore P2 is P at the end. Okay, so P2 is P at the end. For P1, P1 is not P at the end. It has a value. So sometimes in the question, it will give you the value of P1. So that is the third example the third of problems or the situation you might uh, face in the in order for you to uh, solve the problems in uh, fluid mechanics basically for the Bernoulli equation so we have another example another problems where we have pipe so we have pipe so we want to find uh, velocity uh, or pressure at point two or maybe pressure at point uh, velocity at point two no pressure at point two normally or pressure at point one so at this point p1 cannot be p atm cannot eh because p1 is not exposed to the ambient exposed to the atmosphere therefore it is not p atm and it will be the same as p2 p2 will not be p atm so therefore p1 and p2 we have values for it then you uh, will not remove any of the pressure terms in the Bernoulli's equation okay so u1 square over 2g remember i only focus on the pressure energy so after this i will focus to kinematic energy kinetic energy sorry kinetic energy so this is the first uh, 
first uh, pressure energy or uh, energy term that we already deals with so the summary for the pressure energy if the flows out to the atmosphere so that point would be PATM so you will zeroing the the point of uh, pressure at if that situation perfectly fits with your uh, with uh, open the atmosphere so if it is close end if it is close end or close tank so p is not the same as p at the end it has its own value of uh, pressure therefore you cannot uh, assume or you cannot say that at that point the pressure is p at the end okay for the close end it has its own value of pressure so now we focus to the kinetic energy so let's focus on kinetic energy so I will focus on kinetic energy so I will not focus anymore on pressure energy so my focus on this term yeah? so the first example we have one tank and flows to the second tank okay so you want to find uh, what maybe what is the elevation z from point 1 to point 2 so here we when we want to find what is the elevation we know that we will apply the Bernoulli's equation at these two tank A and B. So my Bernoulli's will apply on the surface of tank one, water of tank one, and surface of water at tank two. So now uh, we will only focus on the kinetic energy. Eh? So let's take a look at uh, the velocity. So let's say this area is A orifice 1, AO, AO1, and then I will uh, name it this as AO2, okay, AO1 and AO2. So now I will say that U1 is equal to 0. This velocity is actually 0 meter per second, and U2 also 0 meter per second so why uh, how so from continuity equation so from continuity equation so q1 equal to q2 equal to q a o so because the discharge from point one will go to the a o one so from here u one a one equal to u two a o two a o one so if area o one is much more smaller than a one then from the continuity equation, U1 is U2, A01 over A2. Sorry, A1. So this is too big, maybe small. And when small, divide by too big, this value will be zero meter per second sorry approaching to zero so this times with this so u1 is approaching to zero meter per second okay that is number one u1 and then same with u2 so for u2 so Q A O two equal to Q two. 
So U1 AO1 AO2 equal to U2 A2. So U2 is U1 A Two. So two eight is small, and this one will be approaching to zero. And zero times is u one. So this value u two is approaching to zero meter per second. So therefore, u one and u two is zero meter per second. Okay, that is the case number one for the kinetic energy. Let's take a look at number two, where we have velocity in pipe. So point number one and point number two. So we want to find this uh, point. We have diameter one and we have another diameter. It's diameter two. So we have both diameter, lah, diameter one and diameter two. So now... As we can see here, diameter 1 and diameter 2 is the same. Therefore, area 1 is the same as area, so area 2. So, if we plug in the value for the velocity and uh, velocity 1 and 2, we will get zero value if we rearrange the Bernoulli uh, equation. Why? Because U1 and U2 has the same uh, values of velocity. Okay, take a look at continuity equation so we have u1 e1 equal to u2 a2 so from here we know that area 1 is the same as area 2 so therefore we can cancel out so u1 is equivalent to u2 so from the Bernoulli's equation you can actually uh, remove or zeroing the values of u1 and u2 because if you rearrange the, the equation you will have u1 square over 2g minus u2 square over 2g so that value will be equal to zero so when you rearrange your equation Bernoulli's equation you might have these kinds of arrangement so this arrangement will result you with zero because u1 and u2 has the same value. So now, uh, that is number two. Now we'll focus on uh, if we have another, uh, what we call another situation where we have a different, different area, uh, different size of area, different area size. So let's say we have this, problems so so we will put point number one and point number two here so in the middle okay for the what for the pipes we will take the point at uh, in the middle of the uh, pipes okay this is uh, the uh, nozzle so we have nozzle here where we have two different area so point number one and point number two so we want to find what is the velocity at point two. Normally, this question asks us to find what is the velocity at point two. Therefore, we have to apply the Bernoulli's equation. Okay, Bernoulli's principle at point one and point two. So we will take the point for one and two is in the middle of the pipe. Okay. So uh, u one. Uh, so this is diameter diameter one is not. The same as diameter two, the value of uh, diameter itself. Okay, so this is d one and d two. So we have d two. So d one and d two is not the same. So therefore, we the area of one is not equal to area of two. So in the Bernoulli's equation, you cannot uh, remove or you cannot zero in the value of u1 and u2 okay 
because from here if a1 not equal to a2 so from the continuity equation u1 a1 equal to u2 a2 so u1 equal to u2 a2 over a1 it will not be the same as u2 u2 is not the same as u1 because it has some values that multiply u2 uh, multiply with a2 over a1 so this ratio so from the Bernoulli's equation we will remain velocity as it is okay we will not cancel out because value u1 and u2 is not the same okay so we have p2 over rho g plus u2 square over 2g plus sec 2 so we cannot zero in or because when we you move to this side u1 minus u2 square because both of it does not have the same value therefore you cannot cancel out or you cannot uh, that uh, subtraction does not give you the values of zero okay now we move to uh, potential heat so this is a simple potential heat the last term of energy in uh, Bernoulli's equation so we have potential heat so now uh, for the first example, first uh, situation where we have pipe, this is pipe, and then uh, we want to find what is the Z. So, or maybe we want to find what is the, so this is section 2. Let's say this is section 2 and this is section 1. Okay, section one. So in the question asks you to, to find what is the velocity at section two. So you have to, to select the point. So for a pipe, you have to select the point in the, at the middle of the pipe. So here is the pipe diameter and then you must select the point for this point at section one at in the middle of this section. Okay. So same goes as section 2, so you will select at in the middle. So this is your point 2 and this is your point 1. So now we our focus is more on potential heat and I will not uh, talk about pressure energy and kinetic energy because it is previously already been covered and eh? explain more details on these two types of energy. Now we focus more on the potential heat. So we know that this is the Bernoulli's equation. So u1 square over 2g plus z1 equal to p2 over rho g plus u2 square over 2g plus z2. So this is the equation of uh, Bernoulli's. Okay. Now our focus is on z1 and z2. So this is the potential heat or potential energy, energy term in the Bernoulli's equation. So here, Z1 represent uh, Z, uh, the elevation at point 1 and Z2 is elevation at point 2. So if we can put a datum here at the point below than the pipe, so this is your datum. Now we want to find what is the Z1. So here, from here to the point 1 is Z1. From datum to point 2 is Z2. So now, let's say uh, the height of uh, the point one to uh, the point from the datum to the point one is h. So we have h or h. Uh, no. So this is h from here up to this point lah. So h. Now z one. Is H Z2 also H from the datum up to Z2 from this datum up to Z uh, up to point one. So both of it have the same value of H. So as we can see here, Z1 plus Z2. 
So if we bring this z2 to this side, so z1 minus z2. So this equation is actually z1 minus h. So h minus h, it will bring us 0. It will result to 0 value. Lah. So z1 and z2 can be removed or 0. So p1 over rho g plus u1 square over rho g equal to p2 over rho g plus u2 square over 2g. So your equation will become like this lah. Okay, for the Bernoulli's equation. So next, let's say we have inclination of the pipe. This pipe is inclined. Either it moves up so, or it moves down. So both of it will have the same values. Lah. We'll have the same method on how to calculate the uh, potential energy. So here, I took it point number one and point number two. Okay, I directly chose point number one and point number two. So let's take a look at this. I do not want to put another, uh, to, to, to select the Deton's line uh, except point one and point two. Lah. So I will select either Z, uh, one or two will be my datums. So let's say if I choose Z1 as my datum. Okay, the height, the, the elevation or the height from point one to point two is H, for example. Eh? So my Z2 will be, this is the positive. If the datum, if the point two is above point one, therefore it will have a positive value. So in Z2, you will replace h okay if your z2 is your data take a look at here what happened to your z1 so here you will select z2 as your data so z1 is below than z2 so if if it is below than this point therefore you have to substitute negative h in your question in your equation okay so in the Bernoulli's equation so it depends on you which that term or which point you want to consider as your that term. And please remember if you choose your that term is Z1, okay, therefore you have put that to sub, uh, you have substitute Z2 as H. If your Z2 is a that term, then Z1 must be replaced by negative H. So if you have negative here, negative Z1, let's see. So your, your value here is negative H. So do not consider, do not substitute like this, eh? negative H. No, it is wrong. So you have to substitute negative and Z1 is negative H. Therefore, you substitute negative H. So this value will become okay remember so same as this inclination so we have a positive inclination and negative inclination so if you have this inclination therefore you have to uh, take a look at the value of h same goes as here so we have this uh, elevation maybe h so depends on you at which point you want to select as your datum so if your datum is z1 therefore z2 is below than z1 therefore you have to substitute z2 as negative h okay if your z2 is a positive if your z if z2 is your datum then z1 will be positive value okay so uh, that is all about the potential heat and maybe you want to calculate for example, we have this two tank. Yes. And then you have these kinds of configuration for a pipe. For example. So what is Z? Z is refers to the point uh, to the elevation from point one to point two. So if you select this is your point one and this is point two, 
the values of height be lower than the point 0.1 and point 0.2 will not be considered in your uh, will not be considered as your potential energy because we are only referring to point 0.1 so this is point 0.1 and this is point 0.2 so this is the elevation that we want okay what about the elevation below than this uh, point these two points so this uh, distance will be calculated and will be included in the uh, friction factors a uh, friction frictional losses in your pipes so that will be covered uh, in chapter 8 in chapter 9 so that's all for the guidelines thank you